guys, I'm back and this time I'm instead of doing something about procrastination, which I'm sure you found immensely helpful. You haven't done any of it, have you? Didn't think so. This time I'm going to kind of be explaining the music course because it's... why not? Anyway, it's really... it's... a lot of people might go into it thinking, oh, music is just, you know, it's, it's the easy subject. It really... it's... It would be a lot harder if I didn't have so many years of music theory under my belt. So that is my first piece of advice. If you want to go into music, make sure you have at least one year of musical theory under your belt. Otherwise, when your teacher starts talking about like diminuendo, crescendo, oh, make sure that your notes are staccato there. You can be like, what the heck? <laughs> it's not really one of those things that you can pop in. Be like, I'm going to learn an instrument. Although I'm sure music isn't really one of the more popular courses, so I might just be talking to myself here, but that's okay, I do that on a regular basis. It's not healthy, don't do that. So yeah, really only just join music if you know an, an instrument or you can sing. I can play musical instruments, but I can't sing. So when you, when you, during the music course you write up a lot of like listenings, like you listen to someone's famous piece and then you have to describe it. It's really helpful if you use an excess of musical terminology, like over analyze it, just like you would do in English, really. I'm sorry, English teachers. <laughs> but really, it's, um, so if you're, if you're listening to someone, then you write it up. It's really helpful if you, like, play for, play, play the first ten seconds, and then, and then stop, and then write about that. And it really does help, it help if you section it off in your mind. I do that a lot. I'm like, okay, where's the introduction part? There, where's the middle part? Where's the, Where's the cadenza? Da 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 da. Oh, Naxos Music Library. That's really helpful for your listenings, and it also has a lot of the about the Renaissance period, the Romantic period, the Baroque, everything. It's um, it's really helpful. So if your school doesn't have that, I recommend that you recommend the Naxos Music Library site for your teacher because it really does help, and you can just go go on it and take notes. It's got an overview of each of the time periods, and then the introduction, and then required listenings or something like that and it really does help because even though music like comes out sounding like an easy course it's a lot it's really stressful because you have to perform and you have to record your songs and then perform them it's not it's it's very stressful and if you get like performance anxiety or anything like that before you're performing for an audience then then it's really rough performance tips when you're about to perform and you're, because you're supposed to record your pieces in front of a live audience. <sighs> Stressful. But it helps if you act like you're just practicing in your house. Or if it really helps me if, I do, if I'm not fully focusing on the piece. Because the more I focus on it, the more mistakes I'm going to make. So it really helps if you just kind of sit back like, oh, this is a bit of fun. Da -da 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 -da. And music in general, it's just a lot of fun. It's one of the classes that I have just by myself, so the the classes are kind of flexible. And if I want to do um, listening one day and then composing another, and then just really works. But it's a lot of fun. Also, if you need for practicing for getting your pieces up to performance level, if you work it backwards, because it's often times the beginning of the piece is the best. If you're struggling with the ending, then it really helps if you work on the ending and then work backwards. Don't literally play your piece backwards. That's not how it's supposed to sound. But if you work on it backwards, do the last measure and then second to last measure and the last measure is building blocks. Subscribe to the channel if you think that IB is difficult. Everyone should be subscribing at this point. I see you. Also comment down below for what we can do next to help you out. Again, it's biology, psychology, English, music, Spanish and math. It's like a pop quiz every time I have to recall my classes. It really is. Anyway, yeah. Peace, guys. Have fun with IB.